in this video we are going to see how to create this card effect using HTML CSS and JavaScript so as you can see when I click on this uh, arrow it got uh, rotated and uh, you can see the image and this is the title and this is the designation now to, to follow along I leave the source code in the description in case if you got stuck somewhere you can just copy paste the code and uh, code along with me now let me show you the files which I have used the first one is index.html the second one is style.css let's start creating index.html I'll call it index2.html and uh, we need style sheet I'll call it style2.css now for the HTML let me copy with the boilerplate code except the body I'll place uh, we don't have much in the HTML we just have the external style sheet on the head tag and this is the title and uh, we have linked to the style sheet so for the default style I'm going to copy paste the font which is Roboto and for all element it is going to be the font family of Roboto will be applied and I have removed for all element padding and margin now the first thing what we need is we need to create a call ca we need to create a div called card let me show you how does this look we have index2.html Uh, now you see I have not linked it properly it's style2.css now if you refresh this is how it looks now let's design the card so before designing I want the card to be at the center so body padding 0 margin 0 I'm sorry for that we don't need margin no margin and we need a display flex align items center justify content center to make the align items work we need to give height of 100 percentage of viewport height viewport is simply the browser screen now we are going to design the card we need the height width of let's say 400 pixel the height of let's say 100 pixel to view it on the screen we need uh, the background color let's say black refresh it this is how it looks we need to add border radius 35 pixel now inside the card we need to have a button so I'll call it toggle inside the toggle we need span tag so let's design the toggle so I'm going to make this position relative and the toggle as position absolute so to use position absolute you need to have the child the parent as position relative that's the reason I have given the card position relative position absolute let's just give the width of 50 pixel height of 50 pixel to view I'm going to give the background color which is slightly different I'm going to give this some blue let me refresh this this is how it looks now to position it I use the chrome inspector tool now select the blue box which is toggle div and uh, give a bottom the OTTOM bottom of 0 I think you have made a mistake this should come inside the car now it would work we can give bottom as 0 and uh, we can give it in minus 1 so it comes out pixel and left of 50 percentage transform translate x axis so minus 50 percentage so it would be at the center exactly at the center minus 50 percentage now we can give again give the border uh, bottom left of 35 pixel border bottom right of 35 pixel if you want you can give the height to it 
and slightly bigger width now accordingly we need to adjust the font sorry bottom as well cool copy the whole thing and paste it for the toggle now we need a design something like this I will show you you can see this design so we are going to use the pseudo element before so to use pseudo element we need to have the first attribute as content I'm going to leave it as blank then position absolute let me copy the same thing so just to see how does it looks so we don't uh, we need just need 50 50 I will make this red refresh it so this is it refresh it you got it now just place this at the properly left of 50 pixel minus 50 pixel now that works now what we need is we need a border bottom sorry it's not bottom it's top uh, right radius of 35 pixel now if you see now we need to have border so, uh, box shadow so this is what going to give that look 15 pixel top bottom 15 pixel left right blurness 0 15 pixel and uh, black it's pixel that's the reason it's not it's not allowing us now you can see you need to adjust this Think the spread has become too much. Slightly top. Now, if you see, you got this. So if we need to make this white. And uh, before making this white, I'll show you one more thing. we have to over overtake this so let me increase the width cool now we can make this white and now we have to place this properly So this comes by practice. You have to fix the height. Now I want to make this touch. This is not working. This is also not working. this is spread it works accordingly I think you have to uh, use the top 10 pixel adjust it cool now you got it now you can make this let this be black paste it now you have made this blue just make this black so now you can see the box shadow made this possible again just copy the same thing and this is for after and uh, this is going to be left of it this is after now you have to place this properly so where is left left of 50 pixel now we need to see this so I'll make this red and this one blue
this left is not working I think left is already here that's the reason left is not working now we have to adjust this properly Let's make this black. I think this should be white. We should not make this overtake the red. We need to make the red as white. So I'll leave this to you. At present it is taking so much time. So we are going to adjust with this. Go. Copy the whole section and place this in the after. Remove the first left because already it is left. So now we have to design this fan in such a way that it looks like an arrow. Inside the toggle we have span. Let's give the width of 10 pixel. Let's give the height of 10 pixel. Let's give the background as white. And this is where let's see how this looks. So we have to give display block to give width to this fan tag. it's there you can see it is the shadow that is hiding it so we have made the toggle position relative so let it be for absolute now we have span position absolute left of 50 percentage top of 50 percentage to be at the center transform Translate minus it was an x axis, minus it was an y axis. Press it. Now we don't need the width and height, just we just need border, bottom, one pixel, solid, white. It's like slightly bigger. Remove the width and height. Then border, right. one pixel solid white it's not one it will like this nine so water bottom works now where we are missing is Let's try to increase the width and height and let's give the background as black. So this is now we are getting it. This is height and this is width. Cool, just copy this and paste it. Now we have to rotate this, so I'll use rotate 45 degree. Got it. Now, once I click on the let's use the script tag call the toggle document dot query selector 
which is toggle let's store it into a variable called toggle it's a class so when I click on the toggle add event listener click function so when I click on toggle what should happen the card should get the class active card dot class list dot toggle active let me show you when I click on the toggle div the card will get the class active so what should happen so if the card has active then toggle class inside we have span it should rotate to something like 90 degree let's show you it would be a very, very quick space quick piece so to add some delay we'll use transition 0.5 years refresh it click on the toggle you can see it's rotating to 90 degree but actually we don't need 90 degree we want it to be something like this so 23 works that's it click on it the transition does not seem to work because we have not added the second so you can see once the card has the class active we want it to have height of let's say 400 pixel click on it you got it but at a but with a small transition so find the card and give the transition 0 0.5 years Fresh it now you can see it's working now we need to add the content so we'll have content hyphen box inside the content hyphen box we need h1 I'll, I'll give my name then h2 my designation refresh it it's black so we can't we can't see anything so first I'll give content fn box uh, let's uh, let me give the background color just to show the difference background white or something red so whatever is there I want the text aligned to the center and the color to be white and uh, we can give height of 100 pixel just it matches with the content height and we can give padding or we can just give display flex display flex align item center justify content center it doesn't seem to work so we can give it display flex and uh, its center and uh, flex direction will be column of side by side I want it to be one below the other so now we can make this black cool that works you can now design the h1 and h2 I'll leave this to you the font size of 25 pixel then h2 will have font size of 20 pixel we can have margin top 15 pixel or let's say 10 pixel and it should be at capital capital so text transform uppercase cool so we can remove this content box back of black now we need to add the image so image box image so I have placed a me dot jpeg image inside the folder so it's too big now we need image 
box so before that we have to wrap this inside a wrapper so we'll call wrapper call these two and call the wrapper and give overflow hidden we'll work on it wrapper does it seem to have saved cool now we'll have the image box so for that let me hide this so that we can see what is really actually happening so we'll give the width of 200 pixel height of 200 pixel background as white so inside image box we have image it should follow the parents height and width so I'm giving 100% height width and 100% height object fit contain face this now let's check by removing the comment so whatever is there inside the wrapper I want it to be at the center display flex align items center justify content center and uh, flex direction need to be column so one below the other cool that works but we need to give margin to the image margin top let's say 20 pixel now the wrapper doesn't seem to be having overflow hidden so instead what can do is we can give this to card overflow hidden so if I make this it is giving an error ok the problem is the content should not come inside the wrapper so this works the wrapper does not seem to have overflow hidden again I think I have removed it